that doesn't sound ominous at all. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel and thank you for tuning in. First of all guys, I hope you're all well and I hope you're all safe out there. As for me, I've finally started my Christmas holiday and I have to say there's been a lot of entertainment news in terms of cinema and streaming services. Now I did mention in my last video that I wanted to do a full discussion on the future of cinema. Then lo and behold, Warner Brothers just dropped a bombshell on us on how they're going to release the entire 2021 slate of movies. Now, for me, it was kind of anticipated that they were going to utilise a streaming service in terms of HBO Max, but the news still kind of floored me. But anyway, the story is ever evolving, so I'm definitely going to do a full discussion in that regard, possibly a podcast type of video. And aside from that, Disney recently had their Investors Day event where we finally get a glimpse of what's in store for their properties in terms of Marvel, Pixar and Star Wars. So the event was about three hours long. So what I want to do is kind of give a summary of my experience of the event with a couple of reactions as well but I want to rank my top 10 of the most exciting announcements from the event so without further ado let's get into this video so at number 10 She-Hawk a series coming to Disney Plus with Tatiana Maslany cast in the lead role as Jennifer Walters and the Hulk I have to be honest I'm not so accustomed to the comic book She-Hawk but I understand it that the story will follow Jennifer Walters as a lawyer who specializes in defending superheroes so Kevin Feige did tease that anyone could show up, so I'm really looking forward to this show. And to be honest, the hook for me with this show is Tim Wolf reprising his role as Abomination. And of course, it's always great to see one of the original Avengers back in action. At number nine, the God of Mischief, Loki. Now, when they first announced that there was gonna be a spin-off series for Loki, I have to admit, I wasn't sold. I felt that he had a full circle redemptive story in Avengers Infinity War, which I absolutely love that movie, by the way. But I have to say, when I watched the trailer, I was pleasantly surprised. I was sold, guys. I mean, the trailer has served me all sorts of Guardian of the Galaxy tees. The trailer looks like a lot of fun, lots of beautiful imagery. And correct me if I'm wrong, but there is a shot in the trailer where I do believe it's Black Widow. Um, so yeah, and can we have a moment? Can we have a pause for Owen Wilson? I mean, he's serving all sorts of Howard Stark tees in that trailer. So I am sold. And can I just say, how fun would it be if Chris Hemsworth did a cameo as Thor in this series? Just saying, just saying. So that's my number nine. So I'm really looking forward to Loki. At number eight, Hawkeye, the most underutilized of the Avengers. Now, when it was announced a while ago that they were going to do a spin off series with this character, I was like, you know what? If anyone deserves a spin off series, it is definitely Hawkeye. I'm really excited to see how they're going to broaden the scope of the story with the inclusion of Kate Bishop. And I know that they're going to showcase his skill set with brilliant fight scenes and action sequences. So hopefully, they'll focus a bit more on his alter ego, Ronan. We get to see a bit of it in Avengers Endgame. Um, and I appreciate there was so much was condensed in that movie but I was hoping for a little bit more um, so hopefully they'll flesh out the character in this series so yeah so I'm really hyped for it really looking forward to it so yeah that's my number eight at number seven now there was a lot of talk of Samuel L. Jackson finally getting his own series and that title has finally been confirmed, Secret Invasion, also starring Ben Mendelsohn. Now I believe this is going to be a cool aspect of the whole Marvel Universe, a kind of amalgamation of sci-fi stroke spy thriller. However for me, I'll always be here for Samuel L. Jackson back in the world as Nick Fury, so I'm really looking forward to this show. At number six. What if? What if there were complete alternate scenarios for our Marvel superheroes? I totally loved this trailer. I'm always here for an animated series or animated movie and this looks fantastic. Now I'm going to pop my trailer reaction here. Space. Time. Reality. It's more than a linear path. It's a prison of endless possibility. That doesn't sound ominous at all. <laughs> I was promised an army. You have a super soldier. Oh my! Woo. You sure don't seem too freaked out about all this, kid. 
What you doing out there all by yourself anyway? Exploring the world. Sounds fun. But why stop at one world when we can show you all of them? Oh my god, it's everyone. I am the Watcher. I am your guide through these vast new realities. And dare to face the unknown. Whoa. And ponder the question. What if? Give me the tour. That looks brilliant. That looks brilliant. Oh my goodness. Oh my, no man, that looks boss. I love it. Oh my goodness. The animation is beautiful. It really pops. It's like a comic book brought to life. It looks gritty. It looks dark. Lots of really good action sequences and a lot of heartwarming moments as well. So I'm really looking forward to this series. My fifth favorite announcement so it's been confirmed that we're going to get another Fantastic Four movie with Spider-Man Far From Home director John Watts at the helm. And after Spider-Man Far From Home, I have every confidence with John Watts leading on this project. At number four? The new Pixar movie, Lightyear, which is a spin-off from the Toy Story series and will focus on the origins of Buzz Lightyear and it's going to be voiced by Chris Evans. Now, I know there may be some reservations to Chris Evans' voice in Buzz Lightyear, but I think he's got the accent chops to pull it off. I really do. So I'm really looking forward to this movie, and I understand that it's going to be released in June 2022. I have to admit, initially I was somewhat undecided with my number three, but in the end, I have to give it to the Blade reboot. Now, I know there was a very brief update on the Investor's Day event on this project, but honestly, I've been so excited about this movie, especially with the casting of Mahershala Ali in the role, and I know he's going to do the character justice. Now, I'm a major fan of the Wesley Snipes movies, but I'm so happy they're doing a reboot. I mean, it's been a long time coming. There's no official release date, but I look forward to further updates from Kevin Feige on this film. So yeah, that's my number three. At number two, The Falcon and Winter Soldier. And I have to say, for streaming service production, the action sequences looked on point, well choreographed. I love the costuming and the humor and banter between the two characters is still there. Um, just can't wait for this show. The trailer was also likened to the Black Widow trailer. For me, this is the grittier side of the Marvel Universe, which I really appreciate. And I also noticed from the trailer, Daniel Brawl, who played the Baron in Captain America Civil War. So it'll be fascinating to see how they've written him into the series. So yes, that's my number two, The Falcon and Winter Soldier. And last but not least, based on excitement alone, my number one announcement from the Investor's Day event is the Obi-Wan Kenobi series and the return of Hayden Christensen as Anakin Skywalker. And funny enough, I really did enjoy the prequels, but it'd be great to see them expand upon that relationship between Obi-Wan and Anakin um, before he becomes Darth Vader. So I'm really looking forward to this show. I can see it already being a hit. Can't wait for it, here for it, thumbs up. So there you go, that's my top 10 announcements from the Investors Day event. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and thank you for watching and tuning in. Please share your top 10 in the comment section below and I shall see you soon. Take care for now guys, bye.